Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to create a high quality bar chart using the Seaborn library with Python. In this video, we will see how with just one line of code we can create a basic bar chart very easily with Seaborn. Also we will learn all the additional parameters that we can add to customize our plot and make it a high quality chart. To start we have to import pandas, Seaborn and matplotlib libraries and we can do that by using the import method. After that, for our example, we will be using a simple dataset, in which we will have two columns, country and number of people for each country. We can create this data frame by creating a dictionary at first, with country and number of people as variables. And after that, we can pass this dictionary into pd.dataframe function to create this data frame. We will call it df. As you see, we can create a basic bar chart in just one line of code. All we have to do is to use this sns.barplot function and pass to it x, y, and data parameters. Data will take the name of our data frame uh, df in our case. We'll pass country to the x parameter and number of people to the y parameter. This, this is all what we have to do to create this chart. If you want to change the orientation of your plot, you can do that by passing country to y and number of people to x. Now to make our chart better, we will see how to change its size, also to use all these parameters to customize it, and we will learn how to add title, x label, y label, and change the text parameters and set the style of our chart. So to make our chart bigger, we have to add the plt.figure function to our code and pass to it the fix size parameter, which take width and height as values. For our example, we will take x equal 9 and y equal 7. To change the orders of our bars, we can do that by adding the order parameter to the bar, bar, bar plot function in which we pass the order of countries in a list. To change the color line of our bar, bar's edges, we can do that with the edge color parameter. It takes a value between 0 and 1, 0 for darker color, 1 for lighter color. For our example, we'll give it a value equal 0.2. To change the line widths of the bar's edges, we can do that with the line widths parameter. For line widths equal 5, we will have a very thick line edge. For line widths equal 0, the line edge will disappear. For our example, we we'll give it a value equal 1.5. If we want to change the color of our bars, we can do that with the color parameter, in which we can pass the color that we want. I will pass this link in the, in the description of this video where you can find all the colors that you can use for your plot. If you want different colors for your bars, you can use the palette parameter. You can choose a color for each one of the bars by passing a list with the corresponding color to the palette parameter. Also you have the possibility to use palette values that are already defined in Seaborn. So for example, if you use the blues values, you will have a palette of blue colors. Also you will find in the description below a link where you can find all the palette colors that you can use for your chart. Also, we can change the saturation color of our chart by adding the saturation parameter in our function, which take value between 0 and 1. An additional parameter is the hatch parameter with which we can add a pattern to our bar to make it them better. A very important thing to add to our chart is the title and labels, and we can do that with the set title, set x label, and set y label functions. Also, we can pass font size and weight parameter to change the text properties and make them bigger. Also, we can make the text bigger and clearer by adding the tick parameters function and passing to it the label size parameter. One last thing, we can change the style of the background of our chart with the set style function, which take one of these four values. I personally recommend the text style, where we will have a white background color for our chart with sticks on the axis. 